Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm working on this little Cub Cadet tractor here. And on it, there's an Intech 22 horse V twin. And today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean the carburetor on this thing. It is not one of the easiest carburetors to clean, so hopefully, this video will take you through at least my method and uh, make it a little easier if you're trying to clean your own. Okay guys, so to remove the carb, you do not have to remove the top shroud, but I'm going to remove this just so you guys can see a little better. And you might want to remove yours just because these Briggs engines, they're pretty prone to getting clogged up. You can see all the debris and oil in here that's all caked in. This thing's an air-cooled engine, so these, these fins, these cooling fins, they need to be opened up so air can flow through there and both sides are really clogged up and generally what happens is uh, that gets hot it overheats and you have valve problems so I'm gonna clean all that out on this one but I'm gonna remove the carburetor before I do that so none of that dirt gets in there so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the manifold and you can use I'm using a long Torx extension these are real handy because they can get in here nicely but we'll just try and get in here and loosen these up and there's one underneath too now that I've taken out those manifold bolts the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to remove this choke cable and there's two 5 16th bolts here so we'll back these guys out and you want to be careful because there is a linkage on here, which I'll show you right here. The linkage goes from the choke up here to the carburetor. There's, a, you can see it up in here. So there's only one hole. So we just want to be careful that we don't lose that. Little tip for you, I'm just taking a paint marker and what I've done is I've gone ahead and I I marked this linkage on this end, the end that sticks out towards the choke and that way when it comes off the carburetor I don't get it flipped around and have any problems with that. Before I pull the carburetor off we're gonna remove this little breather tube up top so I should be able to just pop that out of there and now I believe our carburetor is loose so we have another linkage down here so we're gonna have to take that off and the fuel solenoid shut off should just unplug so I'm gonna unplug that and what I'm gonna do is take my marker and I'm going to mark this yellow and this yellow so that I get that back in the right place. And then I think we can begin working up on the bench. I have the carburetor loose and you can see the fuel line still connected. So I'm going to try and reach in here and unclamp this. And there's a fuel pump on this machine so you don't have to worry about fuel leaking out. I mean, a little bit of fuel will come out of the line, but it's not going to drain the tank on you. So you might want to put a rag under here. And I'm just going to work this back. I use these uh, fuel line pliers, which are real handy for removing those lines, because sometimes they can be a bear. So I'm ready to start taking apart the carburetor. I left these linkages on. They are marked, so I know how they go in case they fall off. And... Uh, we're going to start, there's uh, two 7 16 nuts, and I'm working on a towel in case any small pieces fall. I also cleaned off the carburetor on the outside. Alright, so now in order to remove the manifold, they have uh, these Torx uh, bit fittings on the end and what you can do is use a 532nd socket. This one's a six point 
We'll put that on there and we should be able to back these out. One, two. We'll just watch that gasket. And our carburetor is now free from the manifold. I've moved the carburetor over to the vise to remove the fuel solenoid and I'm going to use a half inch wrench. Now a normal half inch wrench will fit in here but I have one that I ground down because sometimes like on the Nikki carbs they're really tight to get in there. So by putting it in the vise it won't spin on me and it makes it easy to get this guy off. I'm keeping it in the vise and these screws are prone to strip if they're rusted in there because you're working with steel and aluminum and sometimes they corrode and I'm using my impact and I have this Apex 858 adapter and I'm going to be hitting this impact with my hammer and hopefully that pops them loose. Going to have to tighten my vise. They're always on there pretty snug. All right, I think we got it. Yeah, they know these screws will sometimes get stuck, so they have a Phillips, which I recommend you use, but if it's stripped, you can go with a flathead or standard. Okay, everything should be loose. So we're going to pop this apart. Man, does that look nice. The problem is the, uh, the engine just... It's, it's stuttering a little bit. So we're just going to go through and disassemble this. There we go. And I'm going to remove this gasket. There we go. And we're in there. So now we're going to go ahead and, and spray this out. On this plastic piece, there's a little jet inside here. And I'm just taking a drill bit and I'm going to push it down. There we go. And you'll see it has a little tiny O-ring on there. So we'll clean that out. And there's another opening in here. And we're going to clean that out as well. So at this point, we're just going to spray through the ports of the carburetor and clean everything up using some brake clean and, or carburetor cleaner. So I'm just going to do that off camera. I'm going to spray it through every passage and make sure I see it come out the other side somewhere. Alright guys, we're ready to reassemble I got the little gasket on this guy so we'll drop that in and I'm gonna take the drill bit just make sure we set the jet in place didn't go in there there we go so that's seated and got this guy Make sure the gaskets don't roll over. And they show you a pattern the way this guy goes on there. So set that like that. Looks good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and line it up carefully. 
just like this it should fit right in and we'll press that down and we'll do our float the hinge pin and our bowl. The bowl can go either way. We'll just line it up and we'll put our screws back in. I'm going to just snug up the fuel solenoid in the vise just because this particular carburetor has a crush washer made of aluminum rather than a gasket. So that's it. Now we can connect the manifold. So we'll drop these guys through. They go like that. It's a little spacer. And then this threads right in. Gonna secure these studs. Well, it's pouring rain outside, so I decided I'd clean off these fins just using compressed air. And I got them pretty clean. Made a bit of a mess. I put some goggles on and blew it out, but we're looking pretty good. And I think we're ready to put the carb back on. Well, we're ready to install a carb. I'm going to start with the fuel line. Push that on. And we'll lock this clamp. Next we'll do the linkage. The linkage with the hook for the throttle. Put that guy on. There we go. And we'll do the fuel solenoid so we don't forget that. And let's see. I'm going to put this rubber tube in and hopefully that'll hold the carburetor and manifold in place. I'm going to put in the four manifold bolts. I connected the choke cable so that's back in place and I just want to test that out make sure our linkage is moving freely which it is and the throttle Yep, that's all good. So I'm going to put the cover on and we're going to try and start this. It's a beautiful day here, guys.
Well, it fired up, guys. So it sounds like it's running pretty good. I want to mow with it and see how it does, but it's uh, pouring rain here. And I got another one to do. This one's the Kawasaki engine. And pound for pound, I'd say this Kawasaki is a much better engine than the Briggs. But I'm going to go through and get that Kawasaki cleaned up. And uh, try and cut the lawn with that one tomorrow too if it ever stops raining. So thanks for watching guys and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helps you out. Take care.